Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So I'm currently still reading uh, Sword of Destiny by Andrei Shevkowski. This is book number two in the Witcher series. Haven't watched it on Netflix yet, but I will do soon. I need to ask my uh, other half, actually, whether she's started watching it. Because if she's already started watching it, then I'll watch it by myself, and we can discuss. But she might also want to watch it together, I don't know. Big, Big E, stop meowing. No, it's too cold outside. It's very cold. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's where we're at. Ho 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 ho, happy new year and all that. Bon Uh Yeah, it's, it's been all right. Um, mental health's been pretty good actually, so that's good. Spent some time with the other half, which helps a lot as well. Um, I don't know, it's kind of this house gets me down a lot and being alone sometimes gets me down. Uh, even though I'm not alone, I've got Biggie, he's playing with his toy over there. Biggie, while I was away last night, uh, he had diarrhea, so he's got cat poo, liquid cat poo that is now dried, all down his back legs, which I'm going to have to wash off, so that's a nice start to the year. Uh, what's new? Well, I've been working a lot, doing a lot of reading as well. Uh, last night I went over to Noemi's place, uh, she's got a new housemate, so we met her, one of her other house housemates was out, so we had a few drinks, and um, yeah, you know celebrated new year and then was in bed by one which is my kind of new year it's actually probably been the best new year's eve i remember ever having so that's really good and then today we just chilled out we watched true grit by the cohen brothers earlier uh which was excellent so we're probably going to watch the rest of the cohen brothers movies anyway because they're no amy's favorite directors and yeah i've been getting into them because we watched like three of them now and they've all been good so we've watched oh brother where art thou fargo and now true grit and I've seen Burn After Reading and The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, but I'm probably gonna re-watch them both, just to remind myself, I guess. Uh, Reading-wise, I am now about halfway through Sword of Destiny by Andrzej Sapkowski, and uh, yeah, full review coming soon. I'm definitely enjoying it more than I enjoyed the first Witcher book, so I'll probably maybe continue with this series a book a month, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna read that, and then I think up next, for my next read, it might be the Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. There we go. I might read that next. Well, it, I've got it as a TBR book for this month. Uh, and then I'm cracking on with Allen Ginsberg's uh, Deliberate Prose, which are his essays. And I've been enjoying those, uh, although they are obviously quite heavy going. And then my French read is La Marchande du Venice by uh, William Shakespeare. I've almost got to the end of the introductory essay, because this is the problem, is once I get to the actual play, I have the English play next to it to help me read it. So with the introductory essay, it is difficult. Hello. What a flattering angle. It is Thursday, the 2nd of January 2020. That's weird. I knew that I knew I knew the year, but not the date or the or the day. Uh, later on today, I'm off to the radio to talk about books. I'm probably going to do... Yeah, so I go on Wickham Sound, the local radio station, once a month to talk about books. Uh, I think today I'm going to talk about my 10 favourite books of the last quarter of last year. Because I'm also going to do my video on that as well. So uh, it would just be convenient for me. In terms of reading, I'm still cracking on with Sword of Destiny by Andrzej Sapkowski. I imagine I'll finish it this evening. I'm on page 290 or so. So yes, I've been enjoying that. Uh, it's on course for four out of five and I'll probably give uh, the next book in the series. I'll probably like keep buying a new book each month and slowly making my way through the series, you know? Uh, I've also got a big stack of books over here. Uh, link below to my eBay store. Basically, I'm downsizing my collection. I think my list of books to keep is already on like 400, but a lot of them are quite short. So you can see over there. Those are all of the books that I will be keeping. Those ones on the bottom I still need to add, like, add to Goodreads as ones that I'll be keeping. But then yes, all of the rest of them up there. All ones I want to keep. And then yeah, I also have this space over here in this one. So that's like my in-between spot at the moment for when I'm bringing books through and sorting them. But um, yeah, once I fill up that bookcase, I can fill that one up. And then I think I might need one more in my bedroom. So yes, that's what's happening. 
I have a very meowy boy with me, don't I, Biggie? Do you know who that might be? Who might that be? Oh, okay. Okay, so it is Friday. Um, yesterday I was on Wickham Sound, the local radio station, talking about books. I basically covered off my uh, top 10 books of 2019, which there will be a video of that out if it isn't out already. Uh, went for a walk earlier today to Asda to see if they had... There's a rumour there's a new vegan range coming out with recyclable packaging. So I went to search for that, but they didn't have it, but I had a walk, so that's fine. Um, what else is new? I finished reading uh, Sword of Destiny. I gave it a 4 out of 5. I thought it was pretty good. So now I'm reading this. Can I have it, please, Cat? He's sitting on it. G give me my book. Thank you. Uh, so this is The Rose That Grew From Concrete by Tupac Shakur. It's basically Tupac's poetry. I've got to be honest, I'm not a particularly big fan. And also, it kind of annoyed me because there are about four or five different introduction, like, eh, like not essays, but little intros to it. And, um, yeah, like, his friends and family were saying, like, he needs to be appreciated in, like, the canon of literature and stuff. And I read it, and it's just not very good. It just reads, like, unfinished lyrics. Um, but then also, it does wind me up the way he keeps using the number two instead of the word two, for example. So I'm going to give it a three out of five, but yeah, I would just say Tupac's music is better. I've almost finished doing my Spark Notes summary of this for a client, Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as If Your Life Depended on It by Chris Voss with Tal Raz. And uh, I think next up, I'm probably going to read, um, or I'm going to start reading The Lies of Locke Lamora. Le second était ainsi conçu. Selon votre ordre, j'ai visité 23 hôtels. I have changed, man. I'm sitting here eating olives and listening to Le Chien de Basqueville by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Don't know why I had to check then who wrote it, just because of the title. Uh, I finished reading Tupac, and now I'm reading The Crack and Wakes by John Wyndham. Uh, he is the author of The Day of the Triffids. And um, so far, so good. I'm literally. I think page two of part one. There was also a little intro before that as well, though, that was interesting to read. It's hard, it's really hard. I've just attempted to cook chorizo pasta uh, from uh, Bosch Healthy Vegan by Henry Firth and Ian Theesby. It's all right. I've got a nice little balance of color, look. Um, this didn't have any of the chorizo in it. It's vegan chorizo as well, um, like made from vegan sausages and then spiced them up and that. But yeah, this scoop didn't have any chorizo in it. But also it's not very nice because I used this like red lentil pasta that just sort of dissolved so it's a bit of a bit of a weird texture, but I'm going to go with it. I'm still reading The Crack and Wakes by John Wyndham. I'm on page 96. It's kind of interesting reading it because basically nobody at the moment is, is sure whether the threat is like an alien threat coming from beneath the sea or whether it's just the Soviets. So obviously it's kind of a product of its time, but it's quite interesting. We've had some stuff about nuclear bombs being dropped and stuff. So, uh, so yeah. All in all, though, I'm enjoying it. I've also got here, I have an Elvis juice, not sponsored by Brewdog, 
Um, yeah, it's like, what is it? Pint, grapefruit, I, grapefruit infused IPA. It's six and a half percent. That's probably why I'm not making much sense. I mean, this is only my second and it's full and I'm probably not going to have another one. I don't know. To clarify, probably not going to have another one tonight. I will have another one soon because I love these things. So that's where I'm at. Biggie's over there sitting on a pile of my clothes as he does. Staring at me, giving me the old judgy judgy. I volunteered at the art centre last night. I say I volunteered, they paid me to do it. I wasn't expecting to be paid. Well, I wasn't, I was supposed to be uh, backup bar staff basically, and then it was nuts. So, well, Fran, who runs it, is like six months pregnant now, I think, five, six months, something like that. And she's like lifting stuff up. And like, uh, we were working with another, another guy who, um, so he knows her through her boyfriend, uh, boyfriend? Yeah, just boyfriend, I think. I don't think they're engaged or married. I don't know. I don't keep track of these things. Um, but yeah, he was really cool. But yeah, it was kind of funny because he kept being like, he'd tell her like, you know, stop doing that. Let me do that. And I'm I'm there like, I've just, I, I realise at this point there is no point trying to stop her, you know. Although we did at least do the table, so that was good. Um, but yeah, so I was working the bar for uh, Jazz DeLorean, who is, he's the front man of a band called Tankers the Henge. Uh, I sent Noemi a clip, probably you've probably seen it, uh, or seen some of the clips I took. I thought they were, uh, that he was alright. Um, everyone out there was like really loving it though. And it was kind of, it, it was kind of annoying because you know when like, there's this like court of celebrity and I'm just there like yeah it was, it was fine. It was a, you know it was a good gig. He's definitely inspired by Tom Waits as well. Oh and here's a big stack of books I have to photograph. So that's where we're at and it's what? It's Sunday isn't it? So back to work tomorrow and back to a normal working week. Although before I uh, before I get to that, I will probably play some more Baldur's Gate this evening. Maybe I'll do some another little video clip of that. Um, yeah, I'm coming along. Oh, he's being very cute. It would help if I could focus on him, but there he is. I'm a little clean. The Youth Sentai Sun Vulcan is a series that Stanley had wanted to adapt for the public American audience. But the public American. All right, I am watching The Toys That Made Us on Netflix. Uh, I have the French audio with English subtitles on. Um, I am pretty down and anxious, um, and I don't really know why, or I kind of know why, but I don't really want to think about why. But I'm trying my best to look after myself. Um, I haven't been smoking today, so that's good. Although I really want a cigarette, so I might just have one, because this is why it's really hard to quit smoking for me, because I have such problems with my anxiety and depression that there are times when I'm just like, fuck it, I don't care. So, I guess the the willpower thing comes in in overpowering that self-destructive desire, I guess. Um, I have a can of Elvis juice here by Brewdog. It's a nice little beer. I'm feeling very lonely, I think that's the thing. Um, yeah, sometimes I get really like messed up with being around two people too much and right now I'm just sort of very on edge because I'm by myself at home and I don't know why but it's it's not good um I mean I've been having some cuddles with a cat and stuff and just been tr trying to sleep okay um been putting snooker on when I go to bed and so I'll just watch some snooker until I fall asleep basically and like stuff like this is good to watch because it's um even though it's in French audio, it's kind of a bouncy narration, you know, so it, I can enjoy I can enjoy it even though it's in French, you know, even though it's pushing my head to learn more. So that's good. I'm still reading The Day of the Triffid, uh, sorry, I'm still reading The Crack and Wakes by John Wyndham. Again, because my mental health's a bit weird, uh, I haven't been reading it as much as I would like to, but I'm still only about 50 pages from the end. Um, yeah, I've been make, making a little bit of pressure with my bedtime books too. A little bit of progress, sorry. Not pressure. I don't know why I said pressure. Maybe I'll go out for a little walk in a bit and get something to make. Uh, something nice from the Bosch Healthy Vegan Cookbook. We'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel. I really don't feel good, mate. I really don't feel good. I'm kind of talking to the camera to keep myself going. Um, this would normally be where I would end the vlog. But I don't know whether I should... I'm probably not going to end it like this because... It would be nice to end it on a slightly more upbeat note and for people to know that I'm okay, I guess. So I'm just going to crack on with my evening and with this documentary and do the best that I can. Oh, a bit more French. Uh, as you can see, I got my hair cut yesterday. I've got a bit of a mullet going on, to be honest, because it's quite long at the back and then I've got my fringe cut short so that 
Well, my other half said she wanted to be able to see my eyes, which seems like a reasonable, reasonable demand. Um, yeah, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, got a little bit of a hangover because I went out last night to an open mic night. Naomi and her housemates were all there, and so were a bunch of my friends. So Jordana came along. I haven't seen her for a little while. Or at least since before Christmas, you know. It means that, like, the social calendar's back on. And I've kind of just been going absolutely mental just being sat at home by myself, you know. So, um, I can now go out and do some things. Uh, I've read some more books as well. So I finished reading The Crack and Wakes. I gave it a 3 out of 5 in the end. It was just okay. Um, I do still want to read some more Wyndham in the future, though. What was quite interesting is that you never understand what is below the water. Like, it's never explained to you. And it almost doesn't really matter, you know. Um, and then I finished off reading Snowpiercer Volume 3, Terminus, by uh, Bouquet, well, I guess Bouquet and Rochette. Um, and, yeah, it's weird how this series has been done, because the guy who created the first volume passed away before they did the second and third volumes. And then, now, like, they've now hired people or whatever to continue the series, so they've got those new volumes out. Yeah, it was weird for me, because I feel as though it got better and better as the series went on, so it started out okay. And then book number two, I gave a four out of five. This one, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a five out of five because I really did enjoy it. I think partly because basically it's set in the post-apocalyptic wasteland of like a frozen world with a, a train just kind of infinitely looping, basically. And uh, in this one, the train kind of reaches its final destination. It reaches its terminus. And um, yeah, we get like a little city, a post-apocalyptic city, built in a, a converted theme park and stuff. Very cool, very cool. And it's one of those series, because there are only the three books to it, but I feel like you could reread them again and get more out of them. Um, I'm actually going to give my copy to my girlfriend anyway. And uh, finally, we have what I'm currently reading, which is The Magic of Reality by Richard Dawkins, illustrated by Dave McKean. And um, yeah, it's basically just non-fiction. It's talking about the world around us. It actually takes the form of a bunch of questions. So I guess if I read out the questions to you, that will give you a feel for whether you're going to enjoy it or not. Uh, what is reality? What is magic? Who was the first person? Why are there so many different kinds of animals? What are things made of? Why do we have night and day, winter and summer? What is the sun? What is a rainbow? When and how did everything begin? Are we alone? What is an earthquake? Why do bad things happen? What is a miracle? And then acknowledgements and an index. So yeah, I'm currently on, I think, uh, why are there so many different kinds of animals? So there's been a lot of stuff about evolution and stuff. It's just been quite fun so far. I mean, I only started it today and I've made a decent dent into it. So possibly finish this tomorrow, if not on Friday. Speaking of my plans, um, so yeah, it's Wednesday now. Um, there is the Art Centre open mic on Friday. I think tomorrow night I'm going to see a movie. I've forgotten what it's called, but I did see the trailer for it over Christmas. I think it's a, I think it's a parody sort of thing about Nazis, right? I don't know. I think that's it. I don't think I have any plans for the weekend. There's uh, some sort of jam on Sunday, but I probably won't go to it. I will probably just take it pretty chill. So, yeah, and I don't know, some life stuff is kind of happening at the moment as well. Just some, some things to think over and stuff, but... It's all good. It's all good, man. I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. Do I have to come right back out and tell you everything? Give me some money. Give me some money. I'm skint. <laughs> um, well, I've had to pay... Uh, what did I have to pay today? Well, recently, I've got sort of two books happening at the moment that I'm pushing through edits. So I had to pay my editor for the final round of edits on um, Jailed and Other Stories, which is Lightfold Book 3. And then I had to pay a map maker to do a map of Sunnyvale, the uh, factory farm for meat. And now I've just realised I owe like £250 in water bill as well. So, yeah. Pisser, innit? Oh, well. And yeah, my work has sort of dried up, except suddenly I've got some more work tonight. I've got enough to keep me going. So that's probably what I'll be doing. Um, I'm still reading The Magic of Reality, hoping to finish that this evening, so that should be good. Um, was going to go to the cinema, but that's not happening now, so my next sort of social engagement will be the open mic tomorrow. Uh, probably going to try not to get too drunk, we'll see. I don't know, because I'm, I'm kind of, I might have a beer now, just the one. I might have one of my, my Elvis juice grapefruit IPAs. So yes, that's where we're at. I am watching a movie called Black Death. 
I imagine you can imagine what it's about. It's about the bubonic plague. And on the tags on Netflix, one of the tags says satanic, which I think is kind of wonderful. Uh, yeah, Biggie's here. Aren't you Biggie? It is currently Sunday. I'm going to sit like this so that you have less sun in your face. Oh, it's cold in here. My hands are like icicles. Um, but I'm sure I'll warm up. I've got the little heater on. I don't want both of the heaters on because... Are you meowing? What are you meowing for? So Sunday, let's see. I don't know when I last updated you. I think maybe Thursday. On Friday, I went to the open mi uh, the open mic at the Arts Centre and played a few tunes there. I was played with Dave and I played with Noemi as well, which was fun. We did uh, Where Did You Sleep Last Night by Nirvana and a song by a French band called Noir Désir called L'Empresse. L'Empresse. <laughs> that, that happens a lot when I speak French. I start trying to speak and I just lose my tongue. But um, yes, I'm getting better, which is good. In fact, I've just finished listening to some audiobooks of, uh, I read a little while back, uh, Trois Nouvelles by Edgar Allan Poe. So that was three short stories. It was The Fall of the House of Usher, uh, The Black Cat, and The Cask of Amontillado. And I had them in both French and English. So I've just listened to the French audiobooks of each of those stories, which is good because that's technically a reread. In fact, I know I've just put this film on, but I've just remembered, I, I also have my French audiobook of The Hound of the Baskervilles, and I could possibly finish that off today. Which might not be a bad idea, because I'm falling behind on my Goodreads goal already. I did foolishly set 366 books though, so, you know, one for every day of the year, with it being a leap year. Mm. Hello, my battery ran out, so in the meantime I ended up going to fetch Trois Nouvelles, because I need to talk about it for my wrap-up anyway. So yeah, I read that, I finished Snowpiercer, I also finished The Magic of Reality by Richard Dawkins, this is uh, non-fiction. How we know what's really true. There was some interesting stuff in it to the point at which I found myself talking about it the other day um, and highlighting one of the statistics that was in here. Um, and I, right now I can't even remember what it was that we were talking about. Oh, no, I can't remember. Never mind. Um, but yeah, he talks about the Big Bang and some other stuff. There's a full review of this coming soon. Basically, if you like non-fiction science-y stuff, you'll probably like this. And now I'm currently reading The Bell Tolls for No One, Stories by Charles Bukowski. And it's alright. Um, it's not the best, like, quality book. Which is kind of surprising, because it's from City Lights as well, and they normally do some pretty good stuff. And I'm just coming up to about halfway through now. It's okay. It's very typical Bukowski. Uh, I'm really just reading this one to tick it off, um, because by this point I've almost read all of Bukowski's stuff. So I can't remember whether I actually got to what I did over the weekend. I, I think I said we went to the open mic, so that was good. Came back here, stayed over here yesterday, made some food, watched a movie about child abuse in the Catholic Church, as you do. Um, very good, actually. I can't remember what it was called now, but it was um, on Netflix. It's, it's about the team at um, the Boston Globe who like unveiled the Catholic you know, child abuse scandal. But um, no, Amy was saying as well, something I want to read up about is um, like there have been things w with nuns being abused as well and that hasn't really gathered as much coverage so I kind of want to look into that and see what I can learn. Uh, yeah, I had breakfast this morning, it's now coming up to about half twelve. I am so tired, I might go back to bed for a bit, we will see. I'm hungry though as well so I'm going to make some food first and just generally be productive. Later on, I think I might be helping out at the Arts Centre. They've got some sort of event, it sounds cool, where you can go along and like learn about different instruments and find out about lessons and stuff. So I think I'm going to be working like behind the bar and stuff. But it sounds like there's not going to be much to do because it's mostly going to be under 18s anyway. So I guess there's going to be a lot of IDing people if people want to buy beer. Which I'm still, I'm good at. Like I remember to ID people, I'm just awkward about it. But you know, I think everyone is. Nobody likes IDing or being ID'd. So that's where I'm at. So um, yeah, I think this is probably quite a good place to leave this vlog. So this has been a two week vlog instead of a one week vlog. Um, yeah, just because not much happened and bad mental health days and things like that. I seem to be doing okay at the moment. Uh, actually, a few people, a few other people that I'm pretty close to are having bad mental health times at the moment. So I'm kind of trying to stay strong for them in a way, you know. Um, it's just that time of year, you know, it's pretty bleak time of year but we'll get through this together and in the meantime there are books to read all right so as always thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them hit that subscribe button for more and i will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot Bye bye